So Marshall Henderson plays for Ole Miss. Uh, he's a colorful character. Uh, some are not so fond of him, including um, J.R. Jackson. Um, <laughs> he drank a decent amount of Haterade this morning and during our production meeting on this. Uh, so Marshall Henderson, speaking of Haterade, uh, poured some on Michael Sam. Now, of course, Michael Sam is the first person to be drafted who is openly gay into the NFL. And uh, Marshall Henderson tweeted out, boycotting Sports Center till this Michael Sam nasty ass shit is off. My brothers and seven and my brothers are seven and eleven. They should make a thing out of that. And saw that. Hashtag sickening in capital letters. Um, all right, that's pretty nasty. Now he goes on to say, I'm sorry, but I do not agree whatsoever. That should be shown where innocent eyes can see. Oh boy, this isn't going well. And then he goes on to point number three. Doesn't seem wise, but here he goes. Who's the worst person? Me for what I said, or any of the hundreds who just cursed me? LOL. Uh-oh. Hashtag, this is fun. Okay, uh, by the way, I can answer that question. You're the worst person, <laughs> because they're criticizing you for saying something terrible. It might be harsh in how they said it, but knowing the online world, probably pretty harsh. All right, so... Seems like it's pretty resolved. Marshall Henderson's a bad guy. He's going to take a lot of heat. And in fact, it might actually cost him a decent amount of money because if it hurts his draft position in the NBA, oh boy, you just did a lot of damage. My guess is that he might have gotten a call in between tweet number three and tweet number four. Now, this can go in a lot of directions. We can get the non-apology apology, if I have offended anyone, yada yada. Or the usual, oh, my account was hacked, man. I went to go get a salami sandwich, and this son of a bitch come in here and hack my Twitter account. Wait, he didn't go in either one of those directions. First, he says this. Thank you, everyone, for your input and responses. My next tweet is really going to throw everyone a curveball. Well, that he delivered on. Here's his next tweet. One of my best friends, who is gay, he capitalized that, is about to graduate in psychology, asked me to say these things, so he can have responses. And then he says, to be continued. Oh, this is good, man. He says, the point of his study was to see how people react when others say things or act a certain way against another group of people. He chose gays because of how he relates to it and has to live it every day of his life. He asked me because he knew I would get incredible feedback and, oh my God, how crazy you people are, LOL. It is absolutely amazing to see what people have said, whether agreeing or disagreeing. As for uh, what I said, totally was 100% for the project. As far as my actual views, it's irrelevant because it's going to happen regardless. And then finally, he adds at the very end, it's called psychology. <laughs> and everyone just got taken to school. And then in case it wasn't clear enough, he then writes in big capital letters again. Thank you, Michael Sam, for standing up for you and making this whole project possible, trying to bridge the gap one day at a time. OK. Man, that's ingenious. <laughs> Next time I get in trouble on Twitter. No, it, that was a psychology study that we were doing. I got you. How silly you look. See, I say terrible things, and then when you bust me on it, I go, yeah, just trying to figure out if you'd bust me. Yeah, I, I, we, you didn't really need a study in that. <laughs> I could have told you that people were going to be pissed at your tweets. We gotta, you know what? We've got to throw down the Supreme Court on this. We go to the aforementioned uh, Justice J.R. Jackson. Um, still got the haterade? Uh, are you, do you believe him or no? Uh, I still can't stand this guy, but you know what? You, I, we don't have enough evidence to not believe him. I mean, really? If, yeah. Oh, now you're gonna go do this. Oh, it's, it's, now he's gonna put uh, like on the one hand. No, that's my point. It's, hand, it's actually. Say this, <laughs> it's actually it's it's a smart move because I don't believe that it's that he had some experiment in a, a gay capital gay friend. You know, it wasn't a straight friend that was doing this experiment through my account. It was a gay friend. My best friends are gay. So I mean, he went through all his so, uh, to to completely like to convict him over it is hard. Although I don't believe it, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm on the jury like, I don't believe this guy, but we, you know, we don't have... So you're saying the, you don't have proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Yeah. You're going to say not guilty even though you think he might have done it. Totally. Okay, I don't think this guy's familiar with the TYT Supreme yeah. Court. That is, I, hey, Suze, when did we change the uh, standard to beyond a reasonable doubt? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chief Justice, oh, come on, what do you he's say? totally guilty, and nobody likes that guy. I can't believe, I mean, is he really that good <laughs> in basketball? <laughs> I don't know. 
So but, no, you, uh, and I like how no. see, Jer, uh, Jesus is breaking every rule like it, that you shouldn't mm -hmm. break in a court, right? Like considering uh, previous cases when you're judging this case, he's like, yeah, yeah, I don't even like that guy, guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I mean, yeah, you know, we, we need his gay friend to come out. Yeah, no, no. I yeah. mean, I didn't mean the, you, the pun, but he's got to No, no, we need Exhibit A or Exhibit Gay. Okay. okay. So you can't come out and make up this story and not, like, be like, oh, no, 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 listen, seriously, man, here's his, he's literally in, and by the way, is he really taking a psychology class right now? You see what I'm saying? Like, could he have a gay friend and who'll back him up and be like, oh, dude, I don't want you to destroy your career. Okay, sure, fine, we'll pretend it was this. But he's, he's doing a psychology class right now? That's a hell of a coincidence, man. To have a gay best friend <laughs> who happens to be in a psychology class to do this. I gotta go with Jesus. I'm not buying it. I vote guilty. Uh, two to one guilty. Uh, look, you know we are, what? We're, what, we're totally willing to hear your appeal. If you've got that friend, he comes out and he shows that he's taking Psych 101 or whatever, okay, then you know, I'll bring this back out and I'll be like, hey, listen, court is back in session, <laughs> okay? But right now, based on the evidence that we have, eh, Psych on you, guilty. <laughs>